Hello, one and all, this is one of the tacos, and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When we last left off, Lin Yu had contracted Mummy Rock, and I really, really don't know how we're going to get rid of that from her. Um, normally, I would go to. And that just got worse. Her constitution is now 11, and it will probably only get worse. I could try resting, but theoretically that won't work. We'll give it a shot. Anyways, uh, Lin Yu now has Mummy Rot. Normally I'd run to Arabeth and have Arabeth cast her magic to heal her, but right now she's just focusing on using her magic to open the portal. She is now Constitution 9. If we rest again, I'm sure it'll just get worse, and eventually Lin Yu will just die. I don't want Lin Yu to just die. Well, she resisted at that time. I'm just going to keep resting to see how bad this ends up getting. It's always hard to tell in a game like this how accurate they're being with the actual thing, like with the actual disease in this instance. Yeah, it's it's gonna kill her. Um, let's let's see how that goes. Who knows? Having her actually die and go back and and getting her resurrected body uh, might be the only way. I can get rid of this right now. Where's she at now? Three, two, one. So she's at three. Let's keep going. We're just resting over and over and over again because I don't have cure disease and the game won't allow me to go anywhere that has uh, cure disease, at least not quickly. Wow, what's your constitution now? Still three. Really should be worse than three by now. You know what? I have one thought. It's an absolute long shot. But let's go check it out. Let us go back the way we came. If I can remember where that is. This way, I believe. We only have access to one merchant right now. That merchant did have a variety of scrolls and potions. It is possible he sells cure disease. Problem is, if he's got it in a scroll, I don't think I can use it. Because I don't know how. Scrolls. Phantasmal Killer, Restoration, which will not cure disease. Raise dead. Resurrection. Greater Restoration. I don't think Greater Restoration will cure disease. Negative uh, mental effects. So the effects of reduced movement speed. Maybe a Greater Restoration spell? Do I have any of those ones? No. It costs 4,000 gold. And I don't even actually have 4,000 gold. <laughs> so if we are considering that an option, I literally can't even afford it. A potion of heal. Heal is a good spell. I can actually afford that. I don't remember if heal will cure disease. For those of you not familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, um, you've noticed we've had potions of cure light wounds, potions of cure serious wounds, moderate wounds, etc., etc., etc. Heal, the actual spell just called heal, is something very, very different. Uh, it is a completely different uh, sort of thing. And it is very, very powerful. And I don't know if this is going to work. Drink up, Lin Yu. Negatory. She is still cursed. 
I wonder if I can attack the kid through his inventory. Unfortunately, that's not my style. And I will be keeping my money. <laughs> okay. Next plan. We'll have to sell valuables until we have enough money to get the greater restoration scroll. Oh, man. This is a puddle of suck. Even if I could control Lin Yu's uh, access to spells, I don't even know she could cast that. She's six level. Uh, she should have. No, she shouldn't have fourth level magic. She shouldn't get fourth level magic till seventh. And I don't think cure disease is third or lower. Don't quite remember. Not a spell you usually I take think. very often in any sort of D and D setting. Like you really only plan on taking it like when you straight up know there's gonna be diseases involved. Okay. Um. Well, I don't need those. I do have some stuff to loot or to to sell. Loot to sell. Don't I already have a torch in one of my bags? There we are. I thought I did. That's the new one I bought. Nope, maybe not. That's the one I keep around in my inventory then. I can move these over. Potion of antidote I don't think will cure disease. Oh! Diseases and poisons of all sorts. But it it only says use neutralized poison. Okay. Uh, save slot. Curing the rot. Because there's no point in wasting this potion if it's not going to do a damn thing. Alright, then you try this one. Well, that worked. I lost that potion. But... Getting rid of mummy rod is important. So let's rest. Okay. We're done. We pulled off getting rid of the mummy rod. I'm actually surprised it was that simple. and Ultimately didn't cost me a dime. Other than losing the potion of antidote. But. Because I don't have another one of those. And I don't know if he sells any of those. I didn't get that far. Um. From this moment onwards, we're going to have to be pretty rigid in how we fight uh, things like mummies. We're going to have to save before the fight, and if Lin Yu ends up taking the hit from the disease, we're just going to have to load and do it again. Because now we know for certain there's no easy way out of it. Potions of Antidote should be relatively cheap if I can find somebody who sells them. Might be a good idea to keep those around for everyone's sake. So I don't run back, back and forth trying to cure poisons and diseases. Because we get those all the time. Normally it's just a matter of popping in and visiting, uh, visiting Arabeth. But that's not possible right now. Because she's focusing all of her energy on that portal. Right. Two doors. I believe this is as far as we made it last time. We have a door that probably leads to the next area, and a door that leads probably just to a room. Let's see what's in the room. False Hellmite Elite! Who will cast spells? Since uh, the recording of the last Neverwinter Night video... Ooh, he's got deflect arrows. He's just a straight up monk. Um, since the recording of the last Never One Night videos, I have finished uh, Boulder's Gate. I actually completed it, and uh, this is quite important to me because this is the first time I've actually managed to complete uh, Boulder's Gate. I've had so much trouble with the game in past, uh, but getting it through it this time was actually, for the most part, relatively easy. There were very, very few fights uh, that that actually like really, really threatened me. 
Despite the size, this well-maintained tome is exceptionally light. The pages do seem to have a strange, almost warming glow. Inside is revealed the methods by which the guardian spirit of Helmshold may be restored should the evil entity have displaced it. Though the taint must first be banished by other means, simply having this book in one's backpack will allow the use of a properly prepared altar. Wonderful! Then we'll hold on to it. So I don't know what, uh, I believe it's called Boom Dog or Bean Dog? Whatever, I think it's Boom Dog. Um, I can't say for certain. Uh, what kind of modifications they made to the game to uh, make it easier but I know at least some were made um, I did a conversation on Twitter where I talked about the the fight outside the friendly uh, the friendly arm in which I call the ender of runs because that wizard will just completely destroy you uh, in my original CD of the game and I they might have not. Boom Dog or Bean Dog might have not even made it easier at all. It's very possible a patch that came out back in the day made this easier. I just, I haven't, I have the unpatched, unfixed CD. Um, who? Ominous. You two want to come along, maybe? Just a little bit? This is going to be a tough fight. I'm going to need you to. But for my uh, unpatched, just regular CD, um, trying to deal with uh, that guy at the front gate was just horrific. Uh, I was able to do it in a couple of runs, but it, it really just kind of represented how Boulder's Gate was. There'd be, it would quickly jump from fights that were reasonable to fights that were not reasonable, like at all. Um, in the version I played in the Enhanced Edition, there were guards in the area that made that fight significantly easier. And I don't know if that was a patch thing or if it was something they did to alter the game. But uh, it, either just by getting older and wiser and more familiar with D&D or they made it easier or something. But I was able to, to make it through this time with basically relative ease. Uh, I had a lot of super powered materials that I just I used only for the exclusive like big fights. Um, I'm I've gotten pretty good about doing the thing that gamers are are notorious for being bad for, but I, I do the thing that is the actual intent, uh, like the good honest intent. A lot of gamers, especially in, in like RPGs, will hoard things until the very end or or whatever, saying like I need this. I, I'm going to need this at some point. I'm really going to need it. And the problem is they'll go like, they'll go through the final boss and everything and say, like, it's not time yet. Um, I've gotten really good about hoarding stuff until I need it and then actually using it when I actually need it. Like, uh, by the time I got to Saravok, I had, I had way more wands of Cone of Cold, which was a fifth level spell that, that, my ninth level wizard can only use one spell of, but I had way more cones of cold in in wands than I would have ever needed to make it through that fight because I only used them for big bosses. Um, it just I I know the proper like I know uh, buffing techniques and just like do your buffs outside the room, uh, the right spells to use, and everything. It's it's it was a lot easier for me this time around, and it was very very enjoyable. Uh, let's look at the pedestal. Do I put it here? No? Okay. We can talk to the armor. The animated armor looks battle-ready, but shows no sign of movement. It stares intently at the altar in the middle of the room. Probably locked. No! Oh, not locked. Actually, quite surprising. Where does it lead? Oh, I guess that's the main entrance. So you were supposed to come in this way. We'll deal with those suits later. Any hoozles, the the entire reason Uh Oh dear. Right, we're gonna have to practice our diplomacy skills here. Oh, or maybe not. I'm guessing this is what the book for. 
book this one. Anyways, the entire reason I bring up the Baldur's Gate thing is now that I'm done with it, uh, there should be a lot less me getting this game confused for Baldur's Gate and complaining about this game's inferiorities to Baldur's Gate, uh, which there has been quite a few. Rather than talking to the demon, let's just use the altar. I know. I have the proper tone. Do you want me to click on it? Do I have to talk to the bird first? Fine, we'll talk to the bird. I don't even know how to say that name. The Void Monster bids you welcome. You need not fear me, for I am bound well and good. You are not those who summoned me. Perhaps, perhaps you would finish the ritual that they have let lapse. Hmm. We will hear about. Speak, but no tricks. I wouldn't dream of it. You are far more capable than those who brought me to this place. You see, they have let their petty squabbles interfere with more important concerns. They leave my summoning unfinished. I was to crush the guardian spirit of this place, and I have done so. For this I was promised release. If you are willing, there is a book of ritual in the study to the south, a black grimoire. Complete the ceremony, and I shall be free. I will respond with, I will think about it. If you must, but actions lead to glory far more often than mere thoughts. I could let him out, or this book should banish him, right? Because I don't want to actually let him out. I want him gone. Maybe I don't have the right book. I languish here. Am I not pathetic? Will you not help me free myself of these bonds? Complete the ritual. Again, I will say and I think I will think about it. I don't want to actually release it. It is a demon. <laughs> Apparently it's neutral, but somehow I doubt that. The infernal creature radiates evil so much that you begin to feel sick just looking at it. Yeah, yeah. It's not a good guy. I don't release bad guys with this character. This character does not believe in that justification. Well, that's the black book. This aged text feels cold to the touch, and your fingers are numb after handling it. Within its tainted pages are revealed the, meth the methods by which a person can summon forth the most heinous of creatures. Interestingly, there are also instructions on how to banish evil once summoned, should it prove too troublesome for the caster to deal with. This book would have to be used in very controlled circumstances, lest it have no effect, or worse, an uncontrolled one. Really having it in one's possession will allow the use of the properly prepared altar. I think I have to use them in tandem to do this right. If I use just the black grimoire, it'll probably get out. But if I use the the black book, I can banish it. Which the the good book mentions it has to be done that way first. And then I could get rid of the, the evil taints, as it were. I reckon that's how this is going to work. Alright. I'll touch your magic stones. Banish the demon! You will pay in the end! Your future is marked! You will suffer! Suffer! It is gone. With the demon banished, you may use the Book of Helm to reinstate the Guardian Spirit. Summon the Guardian Spirit of Helm! What's up, dude? The evil force in this altar has been banished and the Guardian Spirit restored. Reinstated. Sorry. But, speaking to the Guardian Spirit, is gonna have to wait for next time. He's a weird looking fella, ain't he? 
I will see you all later. This is one of Otaku signing off. Take care. Bye bye. And thanks for watching. See you later.